sitting there being rejected by someone thinking what does that person think of me i can't believe that this, this person has done this to me 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 it's got nothing to do with you the reason that person rejected is is shit to do with them they're not in a place mentally. They're not in a place where they're confident about their own choices. They're not in a place to understand themselves. They're still trying to figure themselves out. So fuck them. What's up you guys? It's your girl Glimmy Nana and I'm back with another video. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Put on your post bell notifications that you guys know when I'm uploading a new video. So I know I have not posted in a while and that's because it's just life. And I really haven't been um, motivated to do any type of content or any type of videos. I have not been posting on my TikTok. I really don't be on Instagram, so it's just mainly TikTok and uh, my YouTube channel. So, um, I have been going to therapy and this video is like talking about what I have learned through therapy, um, dealing with, um, how I, so... This video is basically me explaining what I have learned through therapy, um, how I um, deal with rejection and sometimes how I can internalize rejection and to to know my, um, my self-worth. Um, so I was in a relationship um my ex whatever and um i been with him for the past few months and i just recently decided to cut ties with him um he was on my my uh healing journey and he just started going to therapy and all that type of stuff but i just realized that it's best for me to just be alone just just be alone and Okay, so what I have learned in therapy, I base I, the reason why I'm going to therapy is for my healing journey, my self love journey, and I call it unpacking me, really getting to know what makes me tick. So this video about knowing your worth and not internalizing rejection. I have been rejected by a lot of men, and I realized that is not me and i'm realizing in therapies that um men that cheat and um are not committed can't be committed they really have mommy issues and i have learned that um even in my past my past relationship that he had a lot so in my past relationship i have discovered that he has a lot of mommy issues and sometimes um men you know get a lot of women to feel fulfill their insecurities within themselves because their mom never really validate them and i at first i internalized that when a man rejected me or he cheated on me is that I wasn't pretty enough or I wasn't good enough. And I realized that it's not me, it's him. One woman is not enough for him because he feel secure if he have a lot of women. Uh, it boosts his ego. So it's not that I'm, like me being 300 pounds, that, that ain't have nothing to do with it. Now that I'm smaller, that still don't have anything to do with So if you thinking losing weight will make a man love you, so losing a lot of weight won't make a man love you. I have learned that in my my healing journey and my loving me journey is that I have learned that first I got to value myself and I got to set a, a standard. And if the man can't meet my standard, then he's not the one. So many women internalize that, okay, he don't want me. 
he probably do want you. He just won't others to fulfill his need because of the lack he feel inside so now i i i know my worth i know i know my worth like is is it's so beautiful like i know my worth and it, it feels a little bit it also feel bad when you get rejected because like you pouring so much love into this person and it can not even in relationships it can be like for a job or anything and it doesn't always have to be in a relationship. It can just be a job or anything you want out of life, you know. And I have learned in therapy that I have anxious attachment. And anxious attachment is basically anxiety. Like, um, I wish I could look it up. Um, anxious attachment is basically like um, how you was raised as a child, right? And my my emotional needs wasn't met as a child so i attached myself to any anybody because i'm afraid that they gonna leave or afraid of abandonment or i'm gonna cry being alone and i have realized that i have to be secure in myself and that takes and that takes time and um that's why my therapist is teaching me about cognitive distortions because basically um, anxious attachment is basically um, um, it's like this insecurity within yourself like you afraid of rejection like I fear rejection I feel I fear not being enough fear not being wanted and so now that I know what it is, I'm learning not to internalize it and just speaking words of affirmation over myself. I don't like how my hair is. Speaking words of affirmation over myself and just having a positive outlook on myself. And that was a, a, a void in me that from childhood wasn't given to me. The emotional met, the emotional need that wasn't met within me. So. Now I'm not internalizing rejection anymore. I'm learning to um, realize that if somebody don't want me or don't appreciate me, it's not that I'm not enough. And what's so crazy is that my ex, he said, it's not that you're not enough. It's just that um, I don't have enough women to fulfill my need. That is so crazy to me. That is so crazy to me. Because like the whole entire time I was thinking that I wasn't enough. In reality, he felt like he wasn't enough. Wow, that just blows my mind. That just blows my mind. But yeah, this is the end of the video, y'all. I really ain't got too much to say. I'm going to try to be more consistent with my uploads. Don't hold me to it, though. Um... So if you like my content, please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Pull on your post bell notifications that you guys know when your girls. Are. I had to change my hair. But y'all, this is the end of the video. Um, I know I've been posting. I'm gonna try to be more consistent. Excuse the background. My room, uh, my bed is kind of messy. But um, yes, this is the end of the video. If y'all want to update on um my weight loss as well. Uh, leave a comment down below. Um, so, yeah. I think that's the end of the video. Yep. So, thank you guys for watching. And happy Easter. I hope that y'all have a beautiful Easter. Right now, currently, I'm cooking. So, I need to go and get off this video. If I can finish cooking. But, uh, I love you guys. Thanks for... I'm not unsubscribing to my channel. <laughs> Bye.